Hi, this is Michelle, Curator of Collections at the Ontario Museum of History and Art. Viola Gallardo has created art for many years. Her artwork is influenced by her Spanish and Native American cultures. In addition to the influence of her two cultures, she is inspired by the Chicano art movement and her role as a woman artist. The following is her artist statement for this exhibit. There have been three major influences in my life and have shaped my approach to art. The first is the space between the two cultures where I was born. The Spanish culture, with its profound soul and strength, exposed me to incredible beauty, design, and mythology, and the total acceptance by Native American people that making art is as natural as breathing explains my fundamental need to create. The second was my involvement in the whole concept of women artists as a viable and separate aesthetic. Unfortunately, the struggle for women still exists. The third was an art movement called Chicano art that was slow to gain recognition and respect in mainstream art culture. In recent years, however, this movement has experienced unbelievable growth, which has confirmed its significance. Perhaps with this understanding on the part of the viewer and what has shaped me as an artist, it is clear that the place where I am now is the accumulation of all that has gone before. My preoccupation with the spirit world is a return to the beginning, yet all that has influenced me is incorporated in this small presentation. Yun Ru Martin received both her BA and MA in drawing and painting from California State University Fullerton. Born and raised in Taiwan, she has lived in Southern California since 1981. She incorporates the use of calligraphy in her artwork. The words are from her own poetry or Buddhist sutras. The following is her artist statement for this exhibit. My painting is a process of both intention and intuition. I attempt to bring balance to the perplexing relationships between these sometimes conflicting influences. On the one side is the concept of invention and intention, which I control. And on the other is the stimulating emotional response that takes over after the painting begins. And my painting's calligraphy is also very important. It's not only the most ancient of Chinese art forms, but it's also the most highly esteemed in China. I'm not focused solely to use calligraphy as a graphic consideration. Rather, I use it as a visual, literal, and meditation experience. What is written words in my poems or Buddhist sutras to help invoke a higher vibration to the painting realm? This kind of approach is rather challenging to me. From my early figurative paintings to the most recent abstract paintings, I was doing nothing more than searching for the most pure and natural self, which exists within every being. Janet Castro received her MA in Asian Art History and Literature from California State University, Dominguez Hills. Her paintings and drawings show a commitment to detail her artwork can capture a moment of absolute beauty or a moment of heroism and draws the viewer into a story. The following is her artist statement for this exhibit. Van Gogh, Vermeer, opposites in style and motivation, yet equally significant in their contributions to what moves me in my selection of subjects. Life's trials have forced me to look deeper. God has led my heart and soul to see where beauty and reverence cries out to be expressed. Technique drives my process. I look and look until a composition shouts yes at me, but I must wait until the whole comes into consciousness and is ready to be put on paper and paint. White paper is quite intimidating, so the beginnings are always challenging. Layer upon layer through patience and observation, the images emerge from the surface. I am selective yet inclusive. Each time I sit down to work, it is a commitment to gain more dominion, to capture that moment of absolute beauty or that moment of heroism. When the work is complete and I am satisfied with the end result, I'm filled with joy. If others find a connection to what I have put down, well, that's no slap in the face either. I really love to share.